it's Lisa here. Today I want to talk about effort. Now I love effort. I love going the extra mile. And the extra 20% between great and excellent has always interested me. I've been obsessed with effort my entire life. I think I'm officially what you call a tryhard. So getting up and going through the motions of life, I think, is just existing. It's about putting on clothes and eating food and doing jobs. And it's living in a world full of obligations and shoulds. And for me, effort is about love and joy and pleasure and fun and energy. It's about wearing what you love. It's about eating what you enjoy. It's about doing what lights you up. It's about going the extra mile. And it's doing a bit more towards something that you are really passionate about. And I love Simon Sinek's quote that working hard for something we don't care about is called stress, but working hard for something we love is called passion. So passion creates energy and effort becomes a byproduct of that energy. You almost can't help make an effort when you are filled with passion and purpose for what you are doing. So how are your effort levels? If you're not feeling very effortful, that is always a sign for me. It means that I'm doing the wrong work or I'm doing too much work. So overworking or working on the wrong stuff are two sure ways to kill your desire for effort. Some people tell me that they have no interest in effort. They want an easy life. They've decided that good enough is enough. Some people believe that average is their zone and they believe that average is fine and that's where they're happy and they're never going to strive for anything more. But what if you're not happy? What if you want more? I meet many people who are great. Their lives are great. They are great, but they have plateaued. They've settled for great. I always challenge them to stretch, to look deeper, to lift their eye line higher and to imagine what their world would look like if their life was magnificent. Effort looks different for different people. For someone who's struggling, an effort is to get dressed and leave the house. For someone who's shy, an effort might be to attend a networking event for an hour. But what's an effort for you? What would stretch you? What would be worth striving for? And who is worth effort in your life? When I first heard about Thought Leaders Business School, I was wanting more. I was wanting to be better. I was frustrated to be filled with effort and energy and not know how or where to direct it. And the curriculum really helped me. It helped me to get clarity. So I got clear. Clarity helps you know your zone. It helps you understand your current message, your current market and your best method of delivery. It also helped me to take action. I got going. I had a game to play. I had folders to fill. I had pink sheets to do. I had books to write. I had people to phone. And it helped me to improve. I got better. I turned up. Each time I watched something in the curriculum, each time I had a conversation with someone in the community, I got better. So consistent improvement is something I've always been interested in. So if you're looking to improve, I reckon you should go out and make an effort today. 